So thank you, Irish. Um, I really appreciated the time with you. My pleasure. You have a good one, and hopefully we'll talk again soon. I, I hope so, and I look forward to seeing that list of questions. I will get on that in the next couple of days. I'll send those on to you. Hopefully, I'll get the record. If you want to assist me in that, then that will be very well, that, helpful. But I, that'll I'll happen separately, I'm sure. And then I think I think many in your in your chat in your YouTube chat, that many people would have questions that they could supply to you. I'm sure that would be fantastic. So if anybody does want to send any questions in, you can definitely do so in the side chat or preferably in the comment section down below. So Michael can have a look at them as well or email them to me. And it would be great to catch up and have another chat and get a bit more kind of get get into it a little bit more, but while still being careful, obviously, because of ongoing litigation and stuff like that. That would be yeah. uh, uh before really you go, quick question, nothing yeah. to do with any of that stuff. I used yeah. to cover a lot of stuff about flat earth. What no, shape no. do you think the earth is? There's three earths. Click. On that bombshell, <laughs> there's three earths. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get more into that one. Um, three Earths. I mean, one's feckin' bad enough. Three, two, one. Jack Austin, astronaut. Exposed to inappropriate levels of solar energy. Sunlight makes him the world's smartest man. I know everything! I want that brain taken out. Heat Vision, the motorcycle with the mind of Jack's unemployed roommate. Together they run for their lives, blocked at every turn by adventure. Move up, don't mess around. Move up, you bring me down. Move up, I forget about, don't make the sound. Move out. Now let's just power for real. So I'm just waiting for Michael to get back to me here. I sent you the link, Michael, to, I won't say your email address, obviously, out loud, but the email address that I was emailing you on earlier. Uh, so hopefully you'll get that and drop in with us. It would be fantastic to have you on the show. Uh, we are ready and waiting for you. So if you guys don't know who uh, this person I'm about to bring on actually is, he is a gentleman that was involved in, oh, wait, no, I've got him here. Uh, so yeah, we, we had him on the other day on a video, but I'm going to bring him on now on a welcome to the show. Mike, Mike, welcome. How are you today, sir? Can you hear me? He now, now you can. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hi. Hi, I'm hearing myself back. I don't know if you can... Uh... Uh, is that me? I think so. Uh... I can't hear myself now, so it looks like it's sorted out. Well, welcome to the show, Mike. How are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I, I had a uh, car crash the other day. And I oh, my car. oh, shit. I'm and really sorry to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. It, was, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't too bad, but it was bad enough that uh, I got a headache. I bet. How's the car? A write-off. Oh, man. I had a crash myself not so long ago. My car still isn't quite right yet, but uh, but it's great to have you on. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you on. And um, I know we had a bit of a forward and back in uh, emails and stuff like that, so it was good to it was good to have a chat. And uh, a lot of people are very interested in your case, and I know you're probably limited in what you can say, right? Well, I prefer to say just about nothing other than I'm I'm very interested in my case too. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Do you think you're going to have uh, a lot of luck in that case? No, no, no luck whatsoever. It's all blessings. Okay, well that's that is good to uh, that's good to, to hang on to that anyway. Um, I guess while I have you, Let me yeah, ask. sorry, go ahead. Do you think you could have uh, created that list of questions? I didn't. What was that? That's my phone. One of them. Ah, okay. Um, I did. I didn't get around to creating a list of questions just yet. Um, if there's anything that you're kind of comfortable to talk uh, about off the off the rip, kind of, then absolutely. If there's anything that you don't want to talk about, that's totally fine too. Well, the thing is, I'd love to talk about every single intimate aspect of the case, but without being properly prepared, it would probably be not a good uh, plan for me to do that. Gotcha. But if I were to yeah. be list of questions first, I could uh, not not necessarily rehearse, but I could just put my put my mind in the set of, of where gotcha. people are. No, like I don't actually. What do you What do you really want to know? It's it's things? hard to kind of it's it's kind of hard to write a list of questions, I suppose, because I'm I'm used to more kind of fluid conversation. But definitely, 
uh, and be willing to do that. And I suppose what I was trying to get to the bottom of is, or first and foremost, your it's actually not so much about the case. It's more about your view of the court system because it seemed to me from your your court appearances that you you didn't seem to be overly happy with the situation and how the courts were handling things would that be fair to say no no not at all i, I love the court system uh, in this country and i i think they're doing as good a job as they possibly can in a case that's as complicated as this one and while i personally am not terribly thrilled about the current circumstance it's significantly better than it could be for me and right. as for old people, I, I'm disappointed that I don't get to know how other people are doing. But then again, it's not really my business how other people are doing. If they wanted me to know, they would let me know. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that, I guess that makes sense too. Um, I wanted to ask you because you know, obviously, I only got one side of the story. But th this website about you, oh, can God, you shed some God. light on that? I know which, it's a long time ago and everything, but which website about me? Oh God, so. Many. So there was one in particular uh, that says, hold on, let me, I'm actually just going to bring it up. Uh, I won't bring it up on the screen or anything unless people want to see it. If I can figure out how to do that, I am kind of known for being bad with my, uh, my tech <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's fine. So, yeah, it's kind of, a, it's a bit of a running joke. I'm sure it'll already be in the side chat right now. But uh, so there's a website called, my, uh, sorry, I, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Is it Kusi or Oh, you could. It's it's Kuzi, but I don't even pronounce it correctly myself. It's supposed oh, to be. Okay. It's supposed to be a Hungarian accent, which I don't have since I grew up in America. Gotcha. Well, so there's a website called Michael Kuzi is a stalker dot tumblr dot com. That's that's very old. Very old. Yes, yes, it is, it is definitely. There was the story about the flowers. Can you? Is there anything you can kind of shed some light on that? Not not without talking to the other parties involved first. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm, I'm, um, so I'm I get, myself, right? Right. Okay. Okay. So just to give people background, because obviously it's in the public domain, so I suppose you know people can find it anyway. So the the general gist of the story was it? Uh, let me just double check. Well, what what date was that website published? It's been around oh, so long. That it's a so long long. time ago, for sure. Yeah. At least um, and it, is that is that anything to do with the case, or is it totally unrelated? Huh. Um, that's a good question. I don't. I don't actually know if there's any connection there. There, there might oh, okay. be. Uh, okay. My, my general feeling is that uh, things have been overblown on on a number of levels, and there's probably a a coterie of uh, people who want to get me, either because of things I've actually done, or things they've imagined I've done, or just because of the nature of my circumstance in life. People are some. Sometimes they're envious. They they get the the impression that I'm pretty cool and I am, but they, um, they I think they, so. They, they, yeah. They tend to want to destroy that rather than emulate it, which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I get that. I get that. And so I guess the, the question on that whole story, and again, I know it's a long time ago, but it was something that a lot of people were very interested in, uh, understanding more about. So the, again, so there's no point in me reading out the whole thing. Um, but, <laughs> So I'm just going to read out this part. So it was from you saying, hello, my friends call me Jack. I'm a real person. I met yeah, you in a professional capacity. So you were delivering flowers or something, was it? I met somebody. I asked her out. She said no. I thought that was the end of it. But I, I assume that there was some sort of um, problem from um, the person's friends is my, is my understanding. So... From from the reading of the transcript, it looks like that you delivered flowers to her, liked her, and that's fine. I mean, that's you know normal way people meet. Reach well, out to her. Sorry, go on. As it was a professional uh, exchange, I probably shouldn't have gone to the personal side of it ever at all, and right. I, I don't think that uh, I handled the situation all that well. I actually spent several days uh, wondering if I should contact the woman's father first and say, "Hey, I met your daughter. Can I ask her out?" I, I probably should have done that. And by now, I probably should have apologized to the guy and said, hey, I, I kind of accidentally pissed off your daughter. Somehow I triggered her. Maybe uh, maybe she's maybe she's uh, been uh, catfished before. That, that could be really lame. And then yeah. um, I, I didn't respond well either. Uh, I, I believe I had been drinking, which probably was not the best way to ask people out. But still, that happens. Uh, in, any, in any case, uh, after I had the interaction with the person, I, I never followed up ever again. And it was years later when I found the site. And I okay. said, wow, I guess uh, 
the lady does protest too much, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um and and it seemed like a lot of people were quite interested in that story and and whatever. I, I don't know if you're able to talk about it, but in the current case, is there anything you can shed some light on, like what the charges are or what your position is on that? Or well, my current, I think I think that's a matter of public record, but it might, might it might be hard to find that out. But there's yeah, it could be yeah. assault four and two um, violations of the of the emergency no contact order. Which, and was that an emergency no contact order that came out of the assault or the alleged assault I should say yeah the way they do it here in Washington state when uh, something like this happens they put a they put a lockdown on it which gotcha. makes sense. and I don't believe that the person has followed up with another restraining order of any kind because I haven't gotten one and uh, it actually kind of makes sense that I don't get to talk to that person uh, freely given that you know they don't know what's going on and then if I were to talk to the person at all that might conceivably compromise the investigation of whatever they're doing. Uh, I guess there's a whole bunch of other things that are related to my incident that are uh, like being arranged like dominoes behind the scenes, I think. Gotcha. And it's because it's been going on for quite a while, hasn't it? It really has. And I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not too surprised at this point now that I've gotten a much deeper understanding of the situation that I didn't possess beforehand. It, it, it kind of makes sense. Sort of, like I said, I, I do. I do, in fact, really admire the court system, considering mm -hmm. uh, it, it could be a lot worse, and the complexities of the case are such that I, I, I don't even know what the hell happened. So it's reasonable that they don't either. And considering one of the things that could have happened, uh, I, I, I don't think this happened. But let's say I was possessed by a demon and I attacked her. That, that didn't happen, of course. But if it had happened, well, the, the court would like to know, and uh, I can understand how they would not have any way of finding that out and it's a, a fairly blunt instrument at the uh at the level of, of uh, jurisprudence that they have on me i mean they can't really ask me questions if they did then i would know what they want to know and then i would conceivably uh tell my conspirators if i had any see they don't know if i have any or not and they can't really ask me if i do hey we suspect you of um uh, stealing uranium obviously not but if they did tell me that Oh, I'd be I'd be fascinated. I'd be like, oh, I guess my my ex has a a, a history of nuclear weapons transfer or some shit, right? right. They don't want to give anything away at all, and I, I respect that. And the fact that I have a very unique uh, living situation and circumstance and um, attitude is is not something that the court is really equipped to handle on the fly. What, what, what does I, that actually mean? I'm sorry, I I am not. Uh, to you know, I don't, I don't know your circumstance or whatever. What what do you mean by you know a unique circumstance or whatever? Well, I don't have any living relatives that I speak to. I don't have any brothers or sisters ever. Gotcha. I don't have a established work history that's that's look upable. I don't have uh, friends and associates that are known even to myself. Um, what else? Okay. Um. I had, I had no idea that I was going to be faced with the situation that I was presented with when I got to the house. Had I known that someone was laying in wait to create a, uh, a, a swamp for me to walk into, I wouldn't have come here at all. I, I drove here on Christmas Eve to uh, basically say goodbye, and now I'm trapped here. I can't leave the state. I, I could leave the house, but I don't actually, don't actually know where to go. I don't have any so friends. I, so when, when you were when you say that you you drove there on Christmas Eve, you drove drove where? To the house where I'm at. I'm I'm, I'm at the location where the incident happened. Uh, ah, gotcha. Yeah. And did the other person live there as well? Is it or? She did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and, and are you able to talk about what the actual allegation yeah, hold on, is? Irish, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're very, you're very good. And I really oh you're drinking too. I really admire this this show you got, and I, and Thank I enjoyed. You. It. But I don't I don't want to I don't want to compromise anything. In fact, I might already, already have said too much. I'm gonna let it. You go. know, no, I, I get that. No, that that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, and I have five minutes. Let me let me let me show you what my face looks like, and then and then we can. Hi, how's that? Oh shit! What happened to your face? Well, I hit my uh, forehead on the on the roof of the car as I uh, entered the tree, and then it's not nearly as bad as it looks. The contusions are here, and then uh, I went to Ooh. sleep on this side of my head, so all the blood. Shifted to that side. That looks yeah. nasty, man. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. There's it no really actual. Does. There's no injury here. This is all just blood that came down. Just this, yeah. Oh man, it. I hope you get. I hope you feel better soon, though. I've I've been in a few incidences on motorcycles, and 
in cars and it's no fun. It, it really no. isn't. Uh, I have to ask, what is on the chain? Because I've I've seen it in a couple of uh, in a couple of videos now and. Okay, well, it's it's a it's like a pendulum arrangement. I I do alchemy. Oh, you do alchemy. I'm learning. I love gold. It's uh, it's one it's one thing that I absolutely love. I used to go looking for gold in Australia. Never found a whole yeah. lot. Found a few little bit. Have you had any luck with the alchemy? Luck? Um, not really. I'm 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 really kind of taking advantage of my isolated space to uh, learn a whole bunch of esoteric. Uh, skills and then what i'm actually doing with them i don't, I don't really know yet just kind wait like and a, see what happens do you have any replacement batteries for your smoke detector i'm worried that something will happen and you won't have a an actively working smoke detector no i, I believe they're, they're wired to the house and they're controlled from a third location yep being there that sucks i hate when that happens do you, do you um, really, i actually yeah, really like it. i i I had one like that in an old apartment I lived in years ago, and there was nothing I could do about it. It was absolutely oh. horrifying. Well, in my case, since I since I have no human companionship, other than the imaginary people who are controlling the beeping, yeah, other than them, um, it's kind of friendly. It's kind of warm. I've been here uh, how long? Ten months living here alone. Nobody nobody comes over. Nobody uh, nobody visits. Mm. And and would you like for somebody to be able to visit? Well, I certainly would like people to be able to visit, but uh, at the moment, I've really become in love with my own uh, solitude. It's oh well, I mean, if you're comfortable in your own solitude and happy in it, then I don't see a problem with it. But I, I guess if you if it was a case where you wanted to be around people but couldn't, then I would definitely feel bad for you. Like I would want you to be able to have that companionship. You know what I mean? True. I, well, technically, I can't. I I mean, I'm not trapped at home it's not house arrest thankfully um, yes yeah i'm not uh i'm not prohibited from going anywhere i there's just very few places that i feel comfortable going at the moment right i get you is it a case that you're at risk or um well i might i might say the wrong thing to the wrong person there might be um people who are mad at me who, who don't want to see me hanging around uh there, there might be um there might be things that i know to be the case that if I were to say them out loud, might mess up somebody else's uh, construction of lies that they've built up around their life. Their sums. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I, do, I don't want to mess things up for anybody. I gotcha. I yeah. gotcha. But I guess at the same time, you gotta you gotta live your life too. You know. So so you live in Washington yeah. State, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever heard of Glenn Serio by any chance? No, how do I spell that? C E R R I O, I think it is. He's a guy that I regularly um, deal with over here. But no, I just figured you never know. You might know him. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so would you be would you be in a situation where you would you feel know, so quickly? It seems like it wouldn't be that hard to write them down. Honestly. I know, I know. It's just I'm I'm think I'm thinking of it all on the flight. To be honest, it's just kind of, and, and, you, and, you know what I mean. Well, kind of. Well, I mean, it just seems like that would be something you could do uh, ahead of time, just as easily. Oh, I, I probably know. could. I probably could. It's just I didn't expect for you to come on tonight. So, it's, but it is great to have you on. I, I really, I really do appreciate you coming on and having a chat with me. Thanks. Tell me this, like, aside from the the courtroom drama, and no. so there was some incidences during that whole situation where your behavior was abnormal shall we say in the nicest way like bringing stuff up on the screen and you know eating the orange you seem to really like eating that orange that was a grapefruit oh it was a grapefruit oh wow that sounds uh that would be so, quite tart it was it's my favorite fruit frankly oh that's fantastic i been wanting to try some grapefruit for quite a while but i haven't i haven't had it since i was a kid i never liked grapefruit juice did you know that the the grapefruit descends from the uh um the uh greek legend of the uh, mount mount olympus there was a, a tree that was uh the forbidden fruit that was like an apple but not it was uh it was a grapefruit tree and mm. all the citrus all the citrus uh plants on earth descend from that one tree sort of like all 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 citrus is grapefruit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's very interesting. 
You learn something new every day. You really do. Well, I'm sorry I didn't explain it any better. I didn't realize. I was no, no. No, that was a really, that was a great explanation, to be quite honest. I, I, I had no idea. That's really interesting. Um, and so but with, uh, court, sorry, go ahead. Court, the abnormal behavior. Uh, for me, the, the whole experience of going to court online is, is abnormal. Like I have this, I have this uh, patriotic flag behind, behind my head. I can take that to court. That never, it never occurred to me that a person could do that until, until I found myself in a court system where I wasn't asked to show up. They haven't asked me to come in personally at all. I've just been sitting here and I show up uh, online with, I mean, I could put anything behind my head, right? And then mm -hmm. nobody's, nobody's asked me to turn it off, right? Yeah. Um, I, would, I, would, I would love to hear them say, sir, your American flag is distracting the court. We need to have you remove that. I, I, I wasn't really daring them to say anything like that, but I noticed that nobody else who goes to court seems to have a, a green screen background, unless they do. Maybe I don't really notice. I can't say I've seen any. I think it's a pretty new, new, new thing. Generally, I've seen people with interesting stuff in the background, but not a, not a green screen background. Anyway, that's the first uh, first time I can honestly say I've seen that. Yeah, and and then th in the past when I've gone to court uh, was oh years ago. I can't even remember the last time I went to court. Court, and I never had a case like this in my entire life. And I don't even know wh why it's such a big deal for me to be getting, going to court. Like I don't know why they can't just get get it over with, but obviously mm -hmm. they can't. Because if they could, they probably would like to see a lot less of me. Uh, mm -hmm. My abnormal behavior that was uh, illustrated on your show. Thanks for that, by the way. Um, it's not always like that, certainly. That was a very uh, unique set of circumstances that day. And I'm no longer represented right. by that attorney, in fact. Uh, haven't seen her since. Have not, have not gone to date her. Although I, I can see that there's a connection there between uh, the story on Tumblr and the, uh, the story in the court that you, that you saw. I, I kind of have a, a history of, of asking women out in uh, bad circumstances. In unusual ways, I, I would probably characterize it. Well, I, technically, I wasn't really asking her out at that time. I mean, I was letting her know that uh, uh, she, I thought she was too attractive to represent me. I thought it would be very much a conflict of interest. So when you said, and I'm not uh, quoting verbatim here, but as close as I can. You asked for your lawyer's phone number and then said that you wanted the direct line to her panty drawer. Well, at, at that moment, I was pretty I was pretty agitated considering that I considered the proceedings to be an absolute farce already for reasons I don't, won't go, I don't want to get into. Before I, I came to court that day, I thought it was a bunch of nonsense. And the fact that that judge and that attorney are no longer involved in my case, might have, maybe, maybe that uh, supports my point of view. But I consider the whole thing to be a farce anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I can't say any more about that. No, that's fine. Have I you ever it. have you ever been convicted of anything like this before, or is this new? No, no never. Any yeah. convictions at all, or? Well, you know, I, I do have a, a, a bit of a criminal record, but I'm, I don't see that was that would be one of those things that I would like you to write down ahead of time. And then yes, say, yeah, no, oh, yeah. no, that's fair enough. I know it's kind of it's. I actually know it's my record. I'd have, to, I'd have to think about that on the fly. Is there anything uh, interesting in your record or that we might consider interesting? Because I know I it's obviously public so, record. Yeah. I, I think it's very interesting, yeah. Why oh, you, why come on. Do a background check. Come on. I don't know how, man. I, I, like, I know <laughs> people, people always do that kind of stuff in the States. Uh -huh. And I'm like, how the hell do they do that? I Because well, I obviously live in know. Ireland. So. If anybody out there can do a background <laughs> check and let me know, that'd be interesting. But can it, you it, give it, us... Can you give us a little bit of a teaser of what we might find on that? No, no, no. Well, I, I do have a harassment charge against my father that I, I pled guilty to because uh, I, I took him out of my car and put him in his wheelchair where he was supposed to be. And I did this in full view of uh, 12 uh, court order reporters and the owner of the facility that he was supposed to stay at after a three hour standoff where he didn't want to get out of my car. That, that was kind of a hassle, but that wasn't anything like this one. I mean, there was no, there was no fight. There was no damage. There was no anything other than, uh, well, my father had to be removed from my car and I did it myself, which, you know, it doesn't really seem to be that big of a deal, but at the time, see, uh, <clears throat> doing it in front of 12 court ordered reporters and the owner of the facility, as well as his lawyer, um, that's like too many witnesses. Like if I had known that there was that many people paying attention, I, I probably wouldn't have, uh, got bored and frustrated like i don't know why they were engaging in uh 
indulging my father to such an extreme extreme degree but he had been uh uh, facilitized or not institutionalized he uh he fell broke his nose tore his knee and he was pretty aged at that point and he needed to be uh lifted by by two people in order to go to the bathroom which he didn't really enjoy and that kind of care wasn't available at, at the home where we were living so he had to stay at a uh facility <clears throat> was can't remember the name of the place and he didn't like that he wanted to go home and go and go about his life which was uh you know his, his typical is right but because he was injured, he couldn't go home as soon as he liked. And uh, at that point, I think he had been like eight or nine months without getting to go home. And he was pissed. He felt like he was, uh, you know, being held prisoner. Uh, you know, I certainly sympathized with him, but I didn't think that gave him the right to sit in my car for a long period of time, refusing to get out. I had picked him up to take him to a, uh, an appointment. And there was the option of uh, hiring a, uh, one of them uh, ambulance cabs or something to take him from the place to the hospital. And I volunteered to take him, and it seemed like I was being <clears throat> unfairly harassed by my father. And then uh, I probably was, in fact. But, you know, he was old. He had a right. He's my father. And uh, <clears throat> the, the main thing was that by doing this in front of so many witnesses, they had to all fill out a whole bunch of forms because that was their job. They had to claim this, that, and the other thing. The people at the facility who maybe were guilty of something like uh, overly indulging an old man or some shit, or maybe keeping him there against his will, or who knows. F uh, for whatever reason, it, it caused a ruckus. What that do you was mean by overly indulging? Sorry, I, I, I didn't quite catch what you meant by that. Well, um, they could have just fucking sprayed some propofol on his face and just hauled him out of the car. They didn't have to, like, let him sit there. and Like, they see it seemed like they were enjoying the spectacle, because I imagine my father was fairly... Uh, was a fairly difficult patient and it seemed as though they were um enjoying my discomfiture and his discomfiture to an extent that would be a little bit less than professional perhaps okay. uh, <clears throat> i just wanted to go home and help my mother out she was uh there alone i drove to the house and she got out of the car and then i parked my car in front of uh or beside another vehicle so that he couldn't open his back door he was in the back seat she would got out and she had to go home to uh feed herself through a tube, she had a, a feeding tube in, installed in her in her sternum, and she uh, poured a fluid into her bag and then fed herself through a through a little tiny snaky tube. So she had her own issues, and I was not anticipating leaving her at home alone for hours. And like I was wondering, like what what the hell is my mother doing while my father's here being a dick, right? <clears throat> so that all ended up with me pleading guilty to a single charge of harassment rather than whatever the hell it was they tried to charge me with. Okay. And, and I think several of the people who were working at the facility ended up losing their license, licenses to work in that industry because of uh, the fallout. So I fully, I fully recognize that I probably should have behaved a little bit better. <laughs> so would, was there a charge link to that or? Yeah, I think it was, a, I think it was, a, it was assault for DV in fact. Oh, so domestic violence. So I'd be like an elder abuse kind of charge or? It would have been. Yeah. But after, after significant negotiations, um, <clears throat> Also, the the, the, the uh, star witness, my mother, uh, she she died uh, a few days after the uh, court date that they were uh, threatening me with, and I'm then sorry, I didn't really. That. Well, she had to die at some point, and I was kind of hoping that we could wheel her in, and uh, and the jury could watch my mother try to speak while she was because uh, she had a, a paralysis in her in her throat at that point. Right. And after some many months, I mean, the court. The court drags things out as long as possible because they can. And in that, in that case, uh, my mother didn't live to see the end of it. So they were willing to make a deal of some kind, which made sense. I mean, I didn't I certainly didn't assault my father. And it wasn't a case of elder abuse. And it might have been a case of him being abused by the facility, which is probably why all those uh, people who had to be court mandated reporters for what they saw were probably not real thrilled that I took it upon myself. I mean, I could have just walked home and left him in the car, right? Mm -hmm. it was like a seven and a half mile walk. But anyway, uh, that's one of the things on my record. I harassed okay. my father. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is a genuine question from uh, a viewer, and, and it's not meant to offend or anything. Last uh, this one. is from Diver Dan Navy Vet says, please ask him if he's been diagnosed with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. No, no, never. Okay. Okay. And... Um, Oh, yeah. I gotta read these comments. These are these are great. Um, Paul Rumor Fraser for five pounds says, without seeming disrespectful, and he's battling PTSD, would Mike think of getting help? 
Uh, help for help for what? Like, do you would you consider yourself to have any kind of uh, mental health problem that might that you may need some help with, or hmm. or would you would I you seem like fairly well adjusted at this time? Do you think so? Because I I respectfully would disagree. To be honest, I I would really? respectfully disagree, and that's not me trying to be disrespectful or nasty or anything. Um, like. You know, we have a lot of people that, that hang around our channels and stuff like that that would be able to put you in touch with somebody if you did need some help or if you felt that you needed some help, we'd be happy to help out in any way that we could with that. You know what I mean? Because well, thank you for that. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And we have done in the past for people and, and things like that. So if there if there was any situation where you felt like you needed to talk to somebody, then definitely we could put you in touch with somebody or whatever. If that was something you needed, there'd be, oh, there'd be no I problem. Mean, I, do, I do have the internet for that. I can, I can talk to people. Quite, quite oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But if there's yeah. anything that, that we could help with, then you know, that that's always available for anybody. It doesn't matter what the, uh, what well, the background I've been, I've, is. I've been reluctant to make new, new uh, friendships based on um, my reluctance to start off describing my current circumstance, which I find to be abhorrent, but I'd be happy to make new friends at any given time. I just don't really want to put myself out there, given that there's going to be people who are going to be inevitably ask me questions about the current thing. I want to have that story to be uh, something I can tell easily rather than, oh, well, yeah, uh, this happened on Christmas and I'm still waiting for resolution and uh, haven't seen her since and no one's never talked to me about what happened. That seems like a bad way to start a conversation. Mm -hmm. And as I, as I indicated before, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my solitude. Um, I, I'd like the circumstance to get over with, but it could, it could very well be that what I'm doing is extraordinarily helpful to people that I'll never even meet. Yeah. For reasons, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it could really be. Um, no, I'm not sure what the basis of this comment is. Um, Mama tried says sexual assault. Oh no. Do you have a sexual assault history? No, I do not. Okay. Okay. That's fair Thank enough. God. Now, nobody well, is. Well, 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 okay. Sexual. What, what is meant by sexual assault? Because I, I did arrange for myself to be, um, statutorily raped to lose my virginity when I was 15 and a half. I that, you know? don't understand what you mean by that, I'm afraid. Sorry. Well, I went, I went on a date and I had sex with an older woman and I lied to her and said that I was 16, but I was actually 15 and a half. So technically, technically she raped me, but I, I was down for it. So <clears throat> I don't know exactly. I don't know if that counts as sexual assault history. Some people I, what, what I was, what I was getting at by based on this, common here was did you have any charges or anything relating no. to sexual assault no never no okay okay no I, i'm not sure again what the the background of that that question is it's just that it just came well, off I, I've, been, I've been raped i'm really sorry to hear that though i i'm i'm glad thank you thank you i'm not, I, I don't want to say that i'm sorry that i've been raped because technically i still don't know if statutory rape is rape i mean what's what's the age of consent in ireland in ireland um I actually don't know. Let me just. Um, There's I'll a website. You can look it up. <laughs> okay. I'll have a look here now. Um, I think it's different for. Oh, no. It's the same for everybody. So 17, it says here. Oh, oh, well, I was, I was definitely right then. And I don't want to well, make light of the subject since, since it's a fairly serious issue. But of at, the course, time, yeah. at the time, it wasn't just that I was in a hurry to have sex. I, I wanted to know if it would make a difference in the rest of my life to be statutorily raped. Like what's the difference between 15 and a half and 16? Well, it turns out there might actually be a significant difference, mm -hmm. but I haven't, I haven't gone around raping anybody else. So that's good. That is very good. That is very good to hear. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Cause as you said, it is very serious. Um, okay. So, um, on that, is there any of your other history that you, cause somebody mentioned that apparently you have a fairly lengthy criminal history. I don't know if that's true. Well, compared to somebody who has none, I do have a lengthy one at the moment. I'm looking through your chat comments to see if there's anything I want to come. Charlie yeah. Welch says, dude is dangerous. If not now soon, really dangerous. Do you think that maybe some of your behavior or you know, some of the, the history, I don't know what the history is because, you know, I haven't been able to find it or haven't had anybody send it to me just yet. And you haven't divulged uh, what that is yet. Um, do you think that any of those things in your history or behavior or anything could lead somebody to think that maybe you could potentially cause harm or whatever? Like that case with the flowers was kind of creepy, to be honest. 
Well, it's it's creepier to me that uh, somebody took that incident and then made a website for it that's been left up for years and and, and hasn't been taken down. Uh, it seems strange that complained about it. Frankly, I think it makes me look good. Uh, you think not. that that incident makes you look good? No, no, no. The fact that somebody put that website up and then made these claims. Um, well, clearly I made an impression on them. And since I know for a fact, I never, ever followed up with that person ever again. Never tried to find out where they were. Well, you say you say they make these claims, but are you saying that it was untrue? I, I would say that the facts were presented in a way to make me look worse than I actually am, especially since uh, I wasn't actually stalking the person. Stalking is when a person harasses and then continues to harass. And I never did that. I never, I never made a website that said, oh my God, I made this delivery to this Pearl and I missed her. I never did anything like that. I never called her again. I never, I never followed her up on Facebook. I never uh, looked her name up again. I never uh, did anything for years. And mm -hmm. the whole time that website was up. And it would seem to me that that's the more egregious violation to put up a, a, a slanderous web page up about somebody who, I mean. But is it <clears> slanderous <throat> though, if it's true? Like, I mean, they, there are, you know, like okay, are... but see, it's not true because I'm not a stalker. Once again, the definition of stalking is to make repeated harassing events. To harass somebody once and then never, never talk to them again—that's not stalking. If I was sitting, if I was sitting around masturbating to her, maybe that'd be psychic stalking. But I'm not even doing that. I literally forgot about the person. I asked her out. She said no. That was the end of it. That was. Well, no, it wasn't the end of it. Apparently, apparently there were ramifications that. Uh, somebody felt they needed to put a website up for years and years and years to make things right. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps the website itself doesn't make me look good, but I think my reaction to the event uh, makes me look better than it might otherwise. I mean, I'm not, I don't really uh, care so much about the website being up. I'm just kind of surprised that it's still there. And I certainly hope that person feels better and has managed to get uh, the kind of dates that she's looking for or none at all. I mean, maybe she was an androgyne. I don't know. I literally what? don't know it. Maybe she was an androgyne. I do not know what that is. Uh, a person who um, uh, doesn't, uh, I forget how to say it, something, something to do with sexual characteristics. Or maybe they were, uh, well, I, I actually don't want to speculate about that person since I don't even know if they're still alive. It was years ago, like over a dozen years ago. Yeah. And, the, and who's maintaining that website? Uh, and, I, well, I think it's an archived website. Okay, well, I haven't stalked anybody ever. I certainly have inadvertently offended people from time to time, as, as most of us do, but to repeatedly track someone down and harass them over and over and over, that is the definition of stalking, and I've never done that. And yet the webpage says that I am. It's like, great. Okay. And consider, okay. consider what has happened to people who have met me and then looked me up and then uh, discovered this website there. Uh, they've been given a false impression of me. They've been driven away from me by a rumor. Well, even even if you take the word stalking out of the website name, right? So the the chat log between you and her. You don't think it's been edited? Has it? <clears throat> I would say that there is not a complete record of the exchange between myself and that person depicted on the website. So what's missing? Well, I, I wouldn't care to say. I didn't really want the story to be publicized anyway. So... But I guess if it admonishes you, then it wouldn't be harmful to say what the difference is, you know? I already knew before that incident not to stalk women. I already knew before that not to harass women as well as any other person. And I didn't believe that I was. I can see how a person might have felt harassed. I can see how it was not uh, the best way to go about the situation. And then... Um, <clears throat> I don't really blame the person for putting up that website. It seems like something that they would have done in order to ensure that I don't ever stalk anybody ever again, even mm -hmm. though I didn't. I don't know if they uh, took into consideration the possibility that I did really like her. I did want to ask her out on a date. I did it badly. And then sure. subsequently, anybody who I ever approached ever again with my real name had to be faced with the burden of that web page, which may not have been the... Uh, uh, best possible thing to do. I mean, I don't so think somebody says, uh, so the Mexican Bob says, so you send even more messages then? No, I didn't send any. So if there's something missing from the interaction, 
without messages, what would that be? Well, tell you what, <clears throat> after you get around to writing down your series of questions and then mm -hmm. sending to me, I will look into finding which of my Facebook profiles uh, had that exchange and I will uh, find out which ones were removed and then um, compare to the website. And then, and then I'll be able to answer that question more clearly. That sounds fair to me. I will make an order of that for sure. Um, um, all right. Oh, Ellen, there's one other question I'm going to answer. To <clears> yes. That I saw in your comment. Somebody asked what this is. This is a ring made out of wood. It's got, uh, see, like, put your finger through it. It's a, it's a ring. And it's not being used for that purpose. It's holding up a, uh, what do they call this? A medallion. It's like a, like a locket, but it doesn't have a lock. It's got a picture in it. Anyway, it's got a, uh, it's like a tiki mask. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And it's holding up this, and then this is here, and this is a, it's a little thingy. I'm, I'm, I'm playing around with things. It's kind of oh, nice nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So thank you, uh, Irish. I really appreciated the time with you. My pleasure. You have a good one, and hopefully we'll talk again soon. I, I hope so, and I look forward to seeing that list of questions. I will get on that in the next couple of days. I'll send those on to you. Hopefully I'll get the record. If you want to assist me in that, then that will be very well, helpful, but... I, That'll I, happen I, subsequently, I'm sure. And then I think I think in your in your chat in your YouTube chat, that many people would have questions that they could supply to you. I'm sure that would be fantastic. So if anybody does want to send any questions in, you can definitely do so in the side chat or preferably in the comment section down below. So Michael can have a look at them as well or email them to me, and it would be great to catch up and have another chat and get a bit more kind of get get into it a little bit more, but while still being careful, obviously because of ongoing litigation and stuff like that. That would be. Yeah. Uh, uh, before really you go, quick question, nothing yeah. to do with any of that stuff. I used yeah. to cover a lot of stuff about flat earth. What no, shape no. do you think the earth is? There's three earths. On that bombshell, <laughs> there's three earths. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get more into that one. Um, three earths. I mean, one's feckin' bad enough. Click!